Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. Oh, that's, that's funny, Lee. I get it. Because it's like it's a story about invisibility cloaks. So you're invisible. I get it. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's have you reappear in three, two, one. Just get my box, dude. Not everything's a joke. Sorry. Stop. I don't know why this wasn't here in the first place. I know. I'm sorry. We can just redo the, the whole thing if you want. Yeah, probably. Hello and welcome to Sor Sourcebed. So it's going to happen? You're going to be a moron all day? It hurts. It Wish hurts. you had an invisibility cloak to hide your stupid. So in addition to wanting to fly, humans have also always been obsessed with becoming invisible because we can't just be happy with how we are. Can we, sapiens? There have been two major advances in the last 10 years in the science of disappearing. The first is something known as transformation optics. Which sounds too technical for us to explain. And the second is metamaterials, which are, and I quote, synthetic substances with optical properties unknown in nature that can be designed to achieve invisibility. Ah. ah. In a recent paper from John Howell at the University of Rochester in New York and Benjamin Howell, it's explained exactly how these fantastical cloaks might work and even hide huge objects like people or satellites. The way it works is comparatively simple, especially when they realize that metamaterials were too complicated. Because anything that's called metamaterials probably is. Yeah, so scientists have taken the idea of metamaterials to steer light and they've used mirrors and lenses instead. This means that the cloaks are simple and they can be tailored to anything from toys to people. And if you think thinking like, wait a minute, that sounds like a trick a magician would use. You are correct. Dr. Howell stated, the point we wish to emphasize is not the novelty, but the ease of scaling to nearly arbitrary size. Why would you want to be an arbitrary size? You should make it as huge as possible. That's what you should, you should be doing more fun stuff, scientists. So the problem with these cloaks is that they're only functional on objects that move in one direction, or if the viewer is stationary. You move around and you'd be like, oh, hey, look, there's a thing. But an application that would be perfect for this type of invisibility cloak is satellites. Mid to high range satellites could be entirely cloaks so that whoever they're hovering over doesn't know that they're there. <laughs> Not that anyone would ever do that, okay? All right, everybody calm down, relax. Our government would never do something that invades our or someone else's privacy. I'm not referencing the NSA. I'm not questioning the government because the government told me not to. Sorry, I'm going out of focus. Sorry, God forbid. Oh, oh, apologies. <sighs> Freaking NSA. We're gonna just, it's coming. Good God. Elliot, if I had an invisibility cloak, I'd hide in your car, and then I'd go home with you, and then I'd sneak up to your apartment, and I'd grab your dog when you weren't looking, and then I'd, uh, I'd take him outside, and I'd frolic with him everywhere. Oh my god, we get matching outfits. I would literally murder you. Oh man, I just don't know if you'd ever want to come back. Oh, yeah, I'd, li I'd, I'd literally eat him cheese and I snacks and up, tweets. Oh, I'm gonna steal that dog. I'm gonna steal that dog. With you, and no one would ever I'm know gonna that, steal that the dog. Kmart parking lot actually had bones of Lee Newton. Inside. I might actually kill you and take your dog. No. So guys, tell us what you would do with an invisibility cloak if you had one in the comment it. section down below. And of but course, click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Head on over to sourcefed.com for more news stories. And of course, subscribe to SourceFed. Nerd. I'm Lee good. Newton. Oh, easy. Super me and Gilligan and have so much fun. Elliot, you don't even tight know. Space and be good. Here's the thing. Take my dog. I don't like you the name Gilligan necessarily, we so I'm thinking about naming him Cheese. <laughs>